Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, I always have my own bag Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about my most complimented layering combinations. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. So these layering combinations are guaranteed, guaranteed to get you compliments. Now I'm going to start with a perfume that we all know some of us love, some of us hate, but it's okay. And it is Baccarat Rouge 540. Now I smell this DNA everywhere. I smell Baccarat Rouge. I can't even differentiate it anymore sometimes. And I wanted to share the combinations that have been working for me recently and that have been getting me compliments. And it's just, I'm basically recreating my own type of Baccarat Rouge. So I have been layering Baccarat Rouge 540 with Escapade Gourmand. Now this is burnt sugar, caramel, vanilla, so, so sweet, delightful, delectable with the OG BR540. These two together are perfection. You are definitely going to still have the Baccarat Rouge DNA in the base, but this smells incredible. Now the way I layer is if I know I'm going to smell like a gourmand queen, I would start off with my Dove body wash. I would go ahead and moisturize with either vanilla cashmere by EOS, or I'll just use like a simple um, scentless body lotion and then I layer away. Like I spray hard. I always start with the strongest perfume, which in this case is definitely Baccarat 540. I spray a lot, guys. I spray a lot of perfume. I don't care how bismuth the scent is. If I'm going out for the whole day, I always overspray my perfumes. And then I top it up with a few spritz of Escapade Gourmand and together they smell addictive trust me try this out and let me know what you think the next combo is lush cherry and br540 this one is not new i've seen this on tiktok i've seen this on instagram i've seen this combo so so many times and i've just always layered them together and it felt like i felt like they would just go and to be very honest with you br540 can layer with anything it can literally go with any perfume because it's kind of like a gourmand that smells like goodness me we already know what br540 smells like it's just baccarat rouge 540 bond sugar type of scent with some type of fluffiness i can't describe baccarat rouge 540 to save my life but luckily for me a lot of people have already smelled this perfume so we kind of know what the dna is like and I layer it with the best cherry perfume on the market. In my humble opinion, I don't think any kind of lost, lost cherry. I don't think any kind of cherry perfume is as good as lost cherry. There are some amazing ones out there. Don't get me wrong. I have loads in my collection, but this one is still number one for me together. They smell like a cherry, boozy, sweet, addictive scent. I layer again with BR540. And I go in with Lush Cherry. And because this one doesn't last long, it needs a lot of help. So spray a lot of this and also spray a lot of this. I can't say I count my sprays, but I want to say I probably do maybe 20 of BR540 and maybe 15 <laughs> of Lush Cherry in order to smell. That, that sounds like a lot, I know, but I'm a little bit excessive when it comes to perfume. I do overdo it because i have to finish my perfumes i've got like nearly 400 perfumes in my collection so i have to use up my perfumes and i always always overspray these two together are magnificent the next combo for br540 is cherry ambition by the seven virtues this perfume i don't wear it often i also have a 10 mil that i finished now so i'm onto the um, full bottle this is only in 50 ml and i just think They've done themselves so proud in this. And I want to say 
there's a smidge scent that smells like br 540 in this perfume but it's like more in the base base baseline i couldn't smell it at first and coco peps pointed it out to me that do you get a vibe of br 540 and i had to wear it again and again and again and i was just like it comes across just a little bit not so much but anyhow they layer perfectly together again anything with br 540 layers really well together this is a really beautiful boozy cherry vanilla scent i also add on vanilla woods to this layering combo so i start with um vanilla woods and then i go in with br 540 and then i top it up with cherry ambition you don't need a lot of all of these sprays if you're doing i want to say three or more different perfumes because i know people that do five or six believe me if you're doing three or more you just need a good balance of all the sprays like i would only do maybe five of br 540 five vanilla woods and five cherry ambition and that's more than enough and that's coming from an over sprayer so these three are amazing together i feel like this next combo might just annoy you guys because one of the perfumes has been discontinued but i'm going to share it anyway now solid blanc by tom ford is a tuberose um coconut it's a very unique smelling scent it gives me suntan lotion vibes it gives me summery vibes it's amazing but you have to really love a scent profile like this because it's not a common type of scent profile so if you have solo blanc and you're not sure about it or you don't know if you want to wear it anymore by itself you want something to elevate it a little bit not that it needs elevation but just in case you can get yourself <laughs> you can't actually get yourself pineapple by dolce and gabbana if you have any pineapple perfume in your collection i'm sure we all do i know there's a pineapple spray either by pink or victoria's secret please don't quote me if i can find a photo a link i will put it on the screen and in the description down below any pineapple scent will merge so so well with this together you get a suntan lotion with a pina colada twist if that makes sense it smells incredible together it makes this last longer because although this is a good lasting perfume maybe six to seven hours this one is not the best this one doesn't last that much i want to say four hours so you need to overspray this one this one and then top it up with this one i say that because too much of this can make you feel sick because it, it like it happened to me a few sprays of this and a ton of this will make these two smell so so good together please try this out if you can you can also try it with other solo blanc i think it's the more almost diluted version of this one so that is pineapple by dolce and gabbana and solo blanc by tom ford now my number one layering combination of all time is always will be is always going to be delina exclusive by performs the mali and oud bouquet by lancome i did not come up with this combo i actually saw um adele on instagram I don't know if you guys know Adele, probably not, because I find that a lot of people on YouTube are not actually on Instagram. But anyhow, these two together, oh my lord, are amazing. A lot of people don't actually know this oud in Delina exclusive, but it's a really creamy, sweet, addictive kind of oud. It's very subtle. It's not loud, whereas this is a oud rose, sweet, syrupy rose with praline and vanilla there's vanilla here there's rose in here they just really complement one another you need to spray oud bouquet first and then top it up with delina exclusive i want to say the longevity is roundabout delina exclusive is a little bit stronger and i feel like delina exclusive gets powerful with time and oud bouquet is powerful but it stays the same throughout this one just keeps getting better and better and better and it's why it's one of my favorite perfumes of all time but anyhow these two together are amazing they are compliment beast this like literally if you meet me this is what i smell like this is what i smell like more like literally 80 percent of the time i wear this perfume so much i finally got me a new bottle by the way if you guys know i literally ran out of my oud bouquet a couple of not a couple of months ago has it been two months I ran out my old oud bouquet anyway so I had to pop open my new bottle and I'm just oh I cannot wait to just wear this perfume some more I know this is on sale on Lancome's European website I believe you can get it from the Lancome website at around 60-70 pounds off 
as at the time i'm making this video this is on sale and i recommend you to run and buy this perfume because it's so so incredible you can wear them separately they don't have to be worn together but for the sake of this video this layering combination is excellent the next combo on my list is commodity milk plus and banana banana by Lartisan perfumer this was actually a combo that i stumbled upon on instagram i do not know who posted it but this person trusted my taste they went ahead and bought banana banana like a lot of you have and they layered it with milk one moment hello love hello. hi love you okay Okay, I'm gonna have to pause this video here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I don't even know where I left off, but anyhow, um, Milk Plus is a milky, lactonic, woody, powdery, ambery kind of scent. It's very lactonic, but in the best possible way. It's a little bit spicier than the normal Milk Expressive. I feel like this is also stronger. Now, Banana Banana is a banana green, um scent with some tonka bean is such a beautiful beautiful perfume super super unique they are perfect together i normally go in with milk plus because it's slightly stronger than banana banana i go in hard i spray lots and i can't even remember if i saw this on instagram on tiktok guys i'm so confused like i'm always on the social media platforms i see so many things and it just gets confusing but anyhow i love this pairing i love this pairing i spray a ton of this and i spray a ton of this as well as much as this is long lasting it's not a beast mode scent neither is this one banana banana is also quite powdery i will add that the longevity on banana banana i want to say is average they're both not beast mode but together they become beast mode lactonic sweet banana command it's just a perfect perfect layering combination try this out if you have both perfumes please try them out and let me know what you think i can also add that milk expressive also works well with banana banana what's next what's next now the next perfume on my list we're gonna go back to escapade gourmand by mason mataha ah this perfume i'm so obsessed with it so i layered it with oriana by performs Mali. now oriana is a fresh marshmallowy um chantilly cream vanilla amazing smells similar to love don't be shy um has a bit of a more appealing vibe i would say together gourmand heaven trust me the freshness in this does not make this combo too cloying again i go in with oriana first because this is a stronger scent and then i layer with mason mataha's escapade gourmand some people said this is basic i'm sorry i'm sorry how is this basic like i just don't get it the bottle is not basic the scent is not basic the scent is not unique this is nothing um groundbreaking this is not like we've never seen this before but it's still in a league of its own it's still addictive sexy sweet inviting if i was making a gourmand perfume it would definitely have a similar vibe to this scent i think it's amazing together it is absolutely incredible you smell both perfumes so prominently and the other day my daughter was telling me that there's a way <laughs> You can actually see if two perfumes will go together so she said to open the top of it and smell them together like this and it works <laughs> it honestly works times that i've done that and i've layered the perfume i've sprayed it it works perfectly but to be sure you can test it out on a test strip first on the paper see how it goes together before you put it on your skin especially if you're going to try this for the first time i wouldn't advise you to go straight in and put it on your skin because you may not like it but i don't know you, there's no way you don't like this one but anyhow this is a beautiful beautiful combination do, 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 do. next combination bachiami and escapade gourmand my god when i saw this i know where i saw this on instagram i think it's 
from aromatic doctor on instagram if you are not following aromatic doctor on instagram i don't know what you're doing she's so incredible she's a doctor that is obsessed with perfumes and she knows a layering combination so so well so i layered these two together and i fell in love you guys already know i love this perfume it looks like a sweet wrapper the bottle is just happiness this is brightness and happiness in a bottle i really really love this perfume bachiami is a sweet white floral it's a sweet white floral with gardenia with other notes i think there's only three notes in this perfume but you get a very prominent note of gardenia in the opening which i really really enjoy and together with the sweetness the caramel the vanilla they just merge extremely well together and they give you beast mode performance and they also gather a lot of compliments so that is Escape Goman again and Bachiami. now this next layering combo was actually shared by Mona Katan and she is the owner of Kayali and it is Oud Gazem Rose Oud and Eden Juicy Apple O1 now this perfume most people say it's like a body spray and i get that vibe it gives me an elevated victoria secret body splash but oudgasm rose oud oh my god oh my goodness me this one is my favorite out of the oudgasm line i think it's super stunning i think kayali killed it with this one now this is a heavy rose and subtle oud um i love a oud rose combo i love a oud and rose combination it gives us such a beautiful vibe now this one also has some vanilla but this is a straight up apple berries very very juvenile smelling no not in a bad way i feel like this perfume is made for like younger people not saying anyone can't wear perfume there's no age limit to what perfumes you could wear but it gives me a very juvenile vibe and i really really like it but my daughter wears it more so when i saw this combo i was like it's, <laughs> i would never have thought to put them together but when i tell you this works now you can layer um eating juicy with any fruity perfume in fact you can layer it with a lot of perfumes so i went in with rose oud which has notes of lemon, geranium, Bulgarian rose, vanilla Madagascar, cashmere wood, and oud. Now, when I bought this, they hadn't started putting the notes at the back, but this is mainly a fruity, juicy apple and sort of like a slight vanilla, but I get a lot of fruits from eating juicy. They go super, super well together. You're gonna end up with a rosy, fruity vanillic dry down which is beautiful the opening is going to be majestic the dry down is magical i could not believe how well this works together because with most of my kayali perfumes i always layer with vanilla 28 i always pick out vanilla 28 to layer with all their perfumes because i feel like vanilla 28 as much as people want to call it basic i don't actually think it's basic i think it's a really really beautiful vanilla scent that layers well with any perfume i mean any perfume vanilla 28 just makes it better it elevates it if you are looking for a it, this is not even about vanilla 28 anyway i'm going off on a tangent here but anyhow i did not think these two will work but they do they are stunning together so that is oudgasm rose oud and this is eating juicy apple so the next combo has a perfume that i just can't get with this perfume all the way i decluttered it i brought it back in and i'm just like oh mm, i don't know if i'm gonna keep this perfume in my collection but somebody told me to layer it with this perfume so let me share it's passe soir by bdk as you can see barely one my issue with this perfume is the queen's note in the opening it really throws me off it smells like sour and spoiled fruit which is why i just i just can't get with it i feel like the dry down is okay but that opening sometimes it's even the it's even the opening that's the problem and the dry down is not i don't even know so this this perfume confuses me it really does so somebody said layer it with note vanille because somebody corrected me and said it's not note vanille it's note vanille but it's spelled n-o-t-e which is note but anyhow this is note vanille by m Mikalev. this was sent to me by the brand a while ago a good good while ago and it's nearly finished as you guys can see 
so i'm not really gonna get much layering out of these two but when i tell you the layering combo is layering this combination is perfection if you are among the one percent that doesn't like passessoire and you have no tevenil layer them together you will keep this perfume in your collection point blank period when i tried these two together i was like oh, well well this is stunning so i went in with a little bit of bdk passessoire i did not overspray this perfume but i oversprayed you no know, tear vanilla all over my body it was just giving me vanilla it's giving me a slight fruitiness but it's not i don't get the queens as much thank goodness so i'm gonna keep this in my collection but i'm gonna have to reach out to emikalef please <laughs> Can I have another bottle? I beg. Because this perfume is pricey. This perfume is expensive. If they ignore me, <laughs> which I hope they don't, I'm going to have to buy it because I love this perfume. I think this perfume is one of the best, best, best vanillas I have ever gotten my nose on. You just have to smell it to just get it. It's such a luxurious, soft vanilla. It's not a strong one. It's not a sugary kind of vanilla. It's just a a deep subtle sweet type of vanilla it just works together please try these two out if you're thinking of getting rid of passessoire consider using this and putting them together i feel like you are actually going to enjoy this perfume if you're like me and last but not least we have one of my newest babies in my collection guidance by amouage living the best for last this perfume Woo! this perfume is beauty oh my god this is so gorgeous creamy floral slightly gourmand slightly fresh very sexy very playful very womanly very enjoyable this is amazing now i layer it with my other baby delina exclusive first of all these two combination beast mode powerful i have arrived this combination is incredibly stunning so when i spray them two not in any particular order really because they're both just as powerful as each other actually i think guidance takes it a little bit because when i wash do you know what i don't know which one is stronger actually i'm gonna have to actually put it to the test and time do you know what? i can't even time it because these are like a 48 hour longevity type of perfumes but anyhow i sprayed these two you don't need to spray a lot and then i added a dash of oud bouquet by lancome <sighs> thank me later thank me later these three mm, this oud rose praline combo just gives it a little bit of something it's a little bit spicy as well it gives it a little bit of a humph oh my god these three together are amazing like i said these two spray them equally maybe four sprays each and maybe one or two of this one just a dash spray them together and come back here on this video and say abby you did it you did it you are a master perfumer you can mix up perfumes because these three are incredible together i am so obsessed it's my favorite combo of the moment right now it's highly complimented try this out if you have all three perfumes i beg you please try them out and come back and let me know what you think so my lovelies those are my incredible most complimented layering combination comment down below your favorites comment down below um, a combo that i can try out i am really looking to like combine my perfumes a lot this spring summer i really want my perfume to just be you know to just be just oozing out anyhow i really really want that vibe i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye